Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm glad there's so many people in absentia. Honorable Chief Guest of today's ceremony, farewell ceremony to Aminur Rahman, Professor Dr. Gulam Sandani Fuki, Vice Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Green University of Bangladesh, A special guest, Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. Muhammad Abdul Rijak. Of course, I am talking in absentia. Honorable uh, uh, controller of exams and our treasurer, who person who is the center of attention today, Mr. Aminur Rahman, my departmental colleagues, and my most beloved and affectionate students of the Department of English. Assalamu alaikum. Today, I am the chair of this session. And I have little scope to talk about so many things. In Shakespearean language, my duty simply is to listen to everybody and I have talked to none. In spite of that, I will talk some words about so many things. Today, I have very patiently and attentively and carefully listened to lectures of most, more than 10 speakers. Some of them are excellent speakers and after listening to their speeches, it's really challenging and difficult on the part of a poor man like me to talk on so many things. In spite of that, I will say, and at the beginning I must utter a single Bengali sentence, and with Aminur Rahman, my relationship was like that. So many qualities of this gentleman, a very smiling young man of heteroglossia and heterodoxy is talked about and I am simply spellbound, particularly after the, after the speech of Aminul Rahman. It is really very much difficult to talk on the part of anybody to say so many things because his speech was one of the longest and one of the excellently executed speech that I have ever heard. He has, he has touched up different arenas, different areas, areas, different ambits. And today, simply I am standing here to deliver the presidential or presidential speech, but I must tell some qualities of that very gentleman. And uh, to me, I am first of all giving you an example of a car or a vehicle. A vehicle, if it wants to move, needs three things. These things are power or fuel. Second one is wheel. Third one is the driver. So far as the man is concerned, a successful man, a very popular man is concerned, a perfect man is concerned, he needs three qualities. Knowledge, communication skill, and attitude. Attitude is just like the driver. Communication skill is just like the will. And knowledge is just like the power. So if you are a man of knowledge, if you are a man of skill, uh, communication, if you don't have any right perspective or attitude, you cannot be a successful man. Aminur Rahman is a man who is knowledgeable, whose excellent communication is a skill, is praised by so many speakers before me. So I don't like to mention that. But his attitude, the driver of the private car, or the attitude that is needed for a man to become successful, his attitude is always positive. So many people have talked so many things about him. So he is a man of such qualities. Next point I want to mention is that generally when he entered my room, he says, Sir, I have come to your room to have a cup of coffee. He talks like a boy, a baby, an innocent boy. And this kind of attitude of a brilliant boy like brilliant young man like Aminur Rahman is really heart ravishing, bewitching, captivating. And it cements the bond 
between the junior and the senior, between colleagues, between faculties, between students, among students. I, I am simply spellbound by this attitude of this young man of a smiling face. Next point I want to mention is that Aminur Rahman is going to leave us physically. An American poet says that no man is dead finally until he creates the ripples in a pond or in the world dies finally. So Aminur Rahman has created ripples in the hearts of his colleagues. Aminur Rahman has created ripples in the hearts of his students. And this ripple will not, not die soon. So it, it will last and last, and it will rebound and rebound, it will echo and re-echo, and it will remain for a longer period of time. So, intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually, Aminur Rahman is with us. Though temporarily, momentarily, he will be absent from us for some time. So this is another thing. I have a prayer for this boy. And you can laugh and smile when I will address him as the boy. Yes, to me, he's a very intelligent boy, a bright boy. My prayer is, in the Tagore's language, that I am going to use just now, in Tagore's language, it is, Tumar pataka jare dao, tare bohi pare dao shaboti. He is a man who is very much eager to accept challenges. He is a man who is very much eager to accept responsibilities and duties. So, so far as desire is concerned, wishes are concerned, he is the first man to accept it. But the thing that I can pray to Allah for him, that Allah may give him ability, capacity, so that he can shoulder all these responsible responsibilities perfectly. Again, my last point, I don't like to elaborate because I have said that uh, the share of the session must speak less and must be a good listener, a very patient listener. And I have proved that. And my last point is, Ralph Waldo Emerson, you know his name, Particularly the students of the Department of English knows it, know it. He is the greatest philosopher of America. He says, the glory of America as a nation is that we people do fail from time to time. That is not the greatest thing. But the greatest thing is that we fail and we stand up. We fail and rise. And this is our power of recouping. This is our power of resilience. So losses are going to be dented on the physical body, intellectual body, spiritual body, emotional body of this department. But I do believe that we are people of resilience. We know how to stand up, how to rise up, how to organize things after a certain loss. Undoubtedly, Aminur Rahman's departure will cause losses, untold losses, but I do think that they are not irreparable. We will stand up unitedly, we will recoup the loss, we will show our resilience that after disaster, we people can stand up, we can organize ourselves we can make journey for attaining something perfect. That is, what is my clarion call to my department? That we will recoup that very loss caused by absence of Aminul Rahman. My last words are, Pirahe khuje pai milane harai. Again, Tagore I am quoting. So Aminul Rahman will be remembered most because of his physical absence. 
I want to thank all the organizers, the English club, its moderator, its deputy moderator, its president, its secretary, its other office bearers, and all the students at large. I thank all of them. I thank all the distinguished guests who are present today to add grace and glamour to our ceremony. And I do regret that our Vice Chancellor was not able to remain here till the last moment. And his absence has caused some dent on the glamour of my program. In spite of that, I must tell that all these guests spared time, sacrificed time to make our program a successful one. Again, I want to congratulate, I want to thank all the people of the Department of English, all the inhabitants of the Department of English, and all the inhabitants of Green University of Bangladesh for organizing such a ceremony, for giving tribute, Omesh Rahman. Thank you all.